Hi, this is Wynn Krozak with Paul Reed Smith Guitars. Come on out and check out our new acoustics over here. And then we have our private stock Gary Granger bass. And a private stock 305 and a Nikhil Sunburst finish. And you want the weird shit first, huh? All right. Oh, that's Boomy Wang. Fast and slow. How do we do that? How do we speed them up and slow them down? This is Meanie. Meanie. As in Blue Meanie, but not Blue. That would be a trademark infringement. Make that copyright. This is glass. Why is that? It's not really glass, it's bronze. This is all bronze. This is a bright line called ultraviolet. Thousands of hand controlled dents, but they're symmetrical. Gary Grove, I'm from Muse Research, and I'm with... I'm Kevin Bryson, and I'm also from Muse. And we got Corel from the Goo Goo Dolls demoing the uh, Muse box right now. The Receptor is a hardware host for plugins, so a lot of plugins have become popular for use on the computer. And our sort of thought is, well, the computer's not the best place for them. So we make dedicated hardware for running plugins. Uh, that basically uh, makes it act sort of like a, a keyboard expander module. You know, it's very reliable, very low latency, and of course, you got great plugin sounds. Hi, it's Carol Colado from Regal Tip Drumsticks, brushes, percussion accessories, new this year at NAMM. Whoops. Is the Regal Tip Cajon Brush the first brush? I'm Dave Royer. Uh, I'm the uh, designer of the Royer ribbon microphones. This is our newest Royer microphone. This is a uh, an entry level ribbon microphone, uh, which is still every inch of Royer mic. The uh, frequency response is uh, very nice and smooth, very ribbon microphone esque, and. Uh, I think once you use this microphone, you'll be very happy with it indeed. And then, of course, the rest of the uh, Royer microphone slide uh, does not really need an introduction. Set your game, plug in your headphones, and mix yourself and everybody else without any feedback, without bothering the neighbors, with great clarity, you can hear your band and play anywhere. That's my story. There's an R channel, and the R channel can go out to be recorded if, if you like, and that can have a separate mix. You can also have a source coming in, let's say we're going to learn a cover song, have it come into the 
our channel and every musician who can say, how loud is that going to be in their mix? Our top of the line unit is called the Tour Bus, and that has a digital recorder built in that will record six and a half hours onto an SD card. also has a metronome to allow your eyeball to bleed. This unit has phantom power because now that there's no feedback, you can use your large diaphragm condenser mics, and it's basically the uh, audio quality of a recording studio at rehearsal. system to it. Um, for those who want like a deeper, drier sound on the bass drum, uh, this would do it right here. Hey, Derek Zimmerman with Gen 16 Intelligent Percussion by Zildjian. So what we have here is the digital vault high-end, high-resolution samples of symbols from Zildjian Vault uh, matched with a customized version of BFD Eco. Give you the best symbol samples that you'll ever hear. So what we have here is the acoustic electric symbol from Gen 16 Intelligent Percussion by Zildjian. These holes, it's a special alloy with thousands of holes in a very precise pattern that reduced the overall acoustic sound by 75 to 80 percent. We've developed a patented pickup here that has two little microphones in there, and those run into our controller using GSP technology. We're able to shape the tone of the cymbal with multiple presets so you can make one cymbal sound up to 12 to 18 cymbals. 